This will do exactly the same job because it's using the exact same filter. So that if it does leak, I'm gonna see it. Oh, the filters leak, of course. The filters are gravity. <laughs> so that's not gonna teach me anything. All right, everyone, welcome back to my next video. Well, today we're talking about water filters. And I know some of you get tired of me writing and talking about uh, water filters, but I think they're really important. I'm right now in the mountains, as you can see, if you're curious, that's Mount Massive in Colorado behind me. And uh, there's water everywhere here. You can't throw a rock without running into a stream or a, a pile of snow or something. And so if you spend your summers in the, the mountains, there's going to be water. Even in the winter, if you go down to Arizona, you can camp easily camp within five miles of the Colorado River, and you can get water out of it if you have a good filter. I wouldn't drink that water straight out of it, but it wouldn't be very hard to uh, filter it and take care of it. So today we're talking about the Berkey water filter, the most famous, uh, most successful uh, water filter of them all, the granddaddy. This is the granddaddy. Now, as I tell you, this is a, a Berkey. It's not a Berkey, it's a clone. Uh, and that's actually what we're here to talk about today. Berkey's start, I mean, the cheapest Berkey I could find on Amazon was $380. That's travel, which is fine. Travel would probably work. The travel Berkey would probably fit better in all of our rigs. Uh, but if you go to uh, YouTube, you can find bunches of people who make um, DIY. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to DIY a Berkey water filter. Now, we're going to use, this is an actual Berkey water filter. So there's no difference. It's going to filter in exactly the same way because it's using the exact same filter. The filters from Berkey, their filter is $173. And so everything else here was probably about 25 bucks versus $380. And again, that was the cheapest one. Most all of them are start at 409, 415 and go up. This will do exactly the same job because it's using the exact same filter. So you might be a little intimidated. Well, I can't do DIY things. Well, you probably can. This is super, super simple. You need a drill or access to a drill if you don't have one and you're gonna to need to drill three holes. Each of the filters needs a hole. You have to drill a hole for this. This is a 3 8 drill bit, it's very standard. Uh, anybody with a drill's got a 3 8 inch. And you have to buy a spigot and you have to, uh, to put the spigot in. Because as you can see, a Berkey, uh, even a clone Berkey, comes with uh, its spigot attached, of course. That's what makes it, you get water out of it. So it has a, a spigot attached and we have to mount our own. All the hardware that I've got here might've been 10 bucks at a local hardware store. It's very inexpensive. So I did go ahead and buy a gamma lid and the way it works is it just screws on and off. You pound this ring down into the bucket and then this lid uh, screws on like a neo lid. But if you wanna travel and leave your water in there, this allows that. That's why I like gamma lids. So just to give you the range of prices and ideas of what you can do, the Berkey is anywhere from 380 to 600 uh, on Amazon. The clones are the cheapest clone that I saw in July of 2023 worked out to be $118. First, let me give you an overview of how this DIY will work. So this is a standard two and a half gallon bucket. It's got a standard, you know, mount lid from any five gallon, six gallon, seven gallon bucket. It will go on here. This will set on here and we'll drill holes through this and this, and the filter will go through them and they will become a single unit. Uh, until you take the filter out, they won't ever come apart again. So then we will have put the gamma lid on here. You unscrew the gamma lid, you throw your, you throw your dirty water in here, and then it just gravity feeds down into the, um, the, the clean one. This will be dirty, this will be clean. You don't ever want to mix them in any way or contaminate your clean one. So you can see it's exactly the same. It's a top pot with holes in it. This is gonna have holes in it. We'll drill those holes and it's a bottom pot with a, uh, a spigot. That's all this thing is. You drill your holes, you're gonna put it upside down. You're gonna put this on it. So if I put them here, 
I can add two more in the future at any time, and because it's just a matter of drilling a hole. And now you got to drill two holes. You got they're going to be identical. Okay, and so because I drilled the hole through the bucket, I now have two holes that match each other perfectly. Okay, and to att actually attach it, it's got a wing nut kind of deal, and it's got a gasket. So the gasket has to be on there. And then you will put this through the bottom. It's so tight that you're kind of threading it through. Find a little pressure to get it go down in there. I've got them threaded through. Now the ends are sticking through. Round it out. Again, uh, this, this is going to snap on to the other one so it goes up. Then you just take this and uh, screw it on and it will tighten it even further. It'll pull it up so that it squeezes the gasket. Okay, I wanna see if these if that leaked. I've got it on finger tight. I'm just gonna throw in enough water on the bottom. So again, to see you how this has worked, the progress is we've mounted the two filters and then you set this down and it'll have a, uh, and then this just pounds on. That's the idea. And again, if you just look back here, it's the exact same thing. You got a pot, you put another pot on it and then the lid. Next, we'll work on this. You can see it's designed to cut metal and it does. This is a cheap one. I paid like $10, $15 on this for this. And as you can see, it, it starts to bite and then it gets progressively bigger and bigger. My thinking would be put it right at the bottom and then put the, uh, and then just put it on a corner. And that's what nearly everyone's doing. If you'll notice this one, it's right at the bottom. It's about an inch above the, above the bottom. It goes fast. That went in. So as you can see, I've got two gaskets on there. I'll start with one and make sure that one will do enough. I'll put another gasket here. No leaks. Like I, the, those two gaskets were plenty. And this thing is not leaking. Again, this is probably 10 bucks worth of parts. And now it's, this is just a garden hose spigot. In fact, it's a half inch. So if you have a half inch garden hose, you can screw a hose on this. Get it up on the top of your hood of your car. You could uh, run water off it to a lot of places. All right, so far so good. Now again, we have just attached the uh, Berkey filters in here, I bolted them to this lid. It took We've drilled three holes, all well within the capacity of most people, I believe. Then this just sits down on here. You pour your water in, it drains in, and that's it. You are all done. We You've got a Berkey filter using the original Berkey filters for $173, but they're only going to last you. They're 3,000 gallons per, and you have two of them. That means you're going to do 6,000 gallons. Okay, so what's left? The only thing left to put on the gamma lid. So we basically created a, a Berkey using Berkey filters. So you got a lid on each, just basic lids. This one has the filters inside, just like the Berkey would. It's Berkey filters. Uh, Berkey brand name, bought from Berkey te in Texas, and it's attached. It's got a lid, and then on the bottom, we've got two pots with uh, spouts so we can get the water, clean water out. Uh, assembly is as, as easy as putting them on each other, pouring your water in, putting your lid on, and let it do its magic. And that's it. That's This is a DIY Berkey water filter, even including the, the Berkey brand water filters, and then it only the cost the, Ber the filters themselves going forward ever again. So this is the final uh, setup after we uh, did the DIY on the, uh, on the Berkey water filters. This is a standard water spigot. Uh, that's specifically why I bought it, because I wanted a standard water spigot. And you can buy other ones, but I really recommend you get that. And this is something we picked up 
it's a, a water tank filler made by Camco. Camco is the biggest name in RV accessories and they make high quality products. By buying a half inch hose size, this is gonna make this a lot easier. This thing uh, screws on and then you take the lid off of this, put it underneath there. And this is hose is flexible because it's just plastic hose. And then you go in there and you can fill your, your jug you know, we'll just set this out, keep feeding uh, creek water in it. We're right near a creek. And boy, I'm just, uh, I'm real pleased with the way this has gone. It's set up, it's done. There's almost no work now other than pouring water in. It goes straight into our jugs, any size jug, as long as you can get it high enough. Uh, it's turned out really well. A couple points uh, that I didn't cover. Make sure your five gallon jug is BPA free. That's very important. Food grade. That's what you want to buy. You want to make sure that it is uh, food grade, BPA free, and these are. And also, the filters have to be primed, and I didn't show you the priming process. On, on YouTube, there are a ton of videos about how to prime. It's pretty clear. Uh, the, the, there are multiple methods. So there you go. Uh, you can have your own Berkey filter using original Berkey filter elements. And then all you ever have to do, and they last 3,000 per filter. You buy two of them, you got 6,000 gallons of water for a couple hundred bucks. And that's still half the price of a Berkey because they're just real expensive. Well, if you got anything out of this video, then like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and remember, die with memories, not with dreams. Live your best quality of life. Don't accept less. We'll talk to you later. Bye now.